Autumn heat wave is hitting central United States. Autumn is in full swing, but summer just doesn't want to depart the central United States just yet. Near record temperatures are possible this weekend. Although the leaves have started to change across the upper Midwest and Midwest, plan for the shorts and t-shirts for this weekend's walk through the vibrant forest. Screen if heading out to the tailgate and the game Saturday or Sunday afternoon. The September sun can still produce sunburns. Afternoon high through the early next week will be in 80s as far north as Twin Cities and Green Bay with 90s found in across the central and southern plains from Omaha and Des Moines, Iowa southward into the Kansas City, Oklahoma City and throughout the Texas. These temperatures are 15 to 20 degrees above normal and a few day temperature records could be broken across the central plains. The driver of this late season warm up is a massive upper level ridge building across the plains. This helps to produce abundant sunshine and southerly flow bringing warm air northwards. Night time lows will drop into the 60s and low 70s so a sweater and a jacket will be needed for the early morning walks outside. Remember to take a grander outside tonight with the year's last supermoon will rise right after the sunset. It is also the year's harvest moon. The hot weather will stick around through the early next week. In fact, it will expand into the east and south bringing 80s into the southeast and southern mid-Atlantic and low to mid-70s in the New England. Weather events in the United States, Northwest this past spring and summer led to lower water supply prompting us to reduce our forecast of United States hydropower generation by 6% this year compared with the last year. About one half of the country's hydropower is generated in the Northwest. Precipitation that accumulated in the Northwest over the last fall and winter provided the region with the plentiful water supply outlook for the summer months with near two above average levels by the beginning of the April. However, above normal temperatures in May in the Northwest melted snow rapidly resulting in a significant loss of water supply measured as a snow water equivalent in the higher elevations. With less water available, the region generated 24% less hydropower in the first half of this year than during the same period in 2022. This year we expect 19% less hydropower generation in the Northwest than in 2022. That's all for now. For more news updates, stay tuned with us. It's tomorrow news. For more global weather updates like this, subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon for regular updates.